but you're almost home now. Oh, my head. That was some convention, huh? Yeah. What happened last night? Don't you remember? I don't remember. Don't you even know where you were? Well, I was with you, wasn't I? You were not. This morning, a couple of policemen came knocking at the door of my compartment just as the train was ready to leave Atlantic City, and they had you with them. Policemen, now what have I done? I don't know. The train pulled out. Some woman come running down the platform, and she was calling for you. Woman? What woman? Say, it wasn't my wife, was it? I never met your wife. Is she blonde and 20? No, red-headed and 40. Then it wasn't your wife. Looks like it only think. Here, you better think you're separate of these before you get into more trouble. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to be on a hunting trip. Yes, hunting. And you better get into those. We've only got a few more blocks to go. Say, listen, I wish you'd do me a favor, Ed. What now? Well, come into my house and meet my wife. I'm not thinking so fast. Nothing doing. I got a wife of my own to worry about. Oh, no, please, Ed. Look, you come into my house and meet my wife, I'll go over to your house and meet your wife, see? I don't know. It don't sound like such a good idea to me. What'd you say that number was? 806 Oak Drive. Right. You want blue and white tile in the kitchen, darling? Yes, dear, and big cedar closets in the bedroom. Well, where are we going to put the nursery? We'll build that on when you come sailing home. Good morning. Good morning, Judson. And how is the little bride this morning? Wonderful. Has father come back from his hunting trip yet? Not yet, sir, but I'm sure he'll be in sometime today. Your mother should be home, too. My, are your parents going to be surprised to find you married, Mr. Phillips, and eloping to Atlantic City? Well, I'm a little surprised myself. Would you get me my cap, Judson? Yes, sir. If father arrives before I get back, just remember that you're one of the family. Throw your arms around his neck and call him daddy. Don't forget we need a wedding present to build this house. All right, dear. Well, do I look the part? What part? What do you mean? You wear that thing in the house, you'll get scalped. Say, don't worry about my good scout. Maybe so, but I still think you'd be better off if you leave that gun outside. Yeah, I think. What do you mean by that? Well, here we are, 806 Oak Drive. Uh oh, well, here we go. Perfect. Here we go. Your wife is out, sir. Oh, she's out? She left yesterday morning, sir. Oh, yeah. She didn't happen to go to Atlantic City, did she? I'm sure I don't know where she went, sir. Uh, of course, you wouldn't. Uh, get me a sausage, will you? Oh, boy, what a head I've got. Yeah, pity you don't use it. You better all oh, shut up. He said that she left guessing he isn't home yet. And you don't know where I was last night, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's go over and see my wife. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, wait, wait till I get my salsa. <sighs> oh, I'm in spin now. Judson, is that Mr. Errol in the living room? Yes, ma'am. I'll be waiting in the library. I'll tell him. I'm going to need more than a seltzer if I don't get home pretty soon. Oh, quiet. Your seltzer, sir. Thanks. Just what the doctor ordered. There's a pleasant little surprise awaiting you in the library, sir. Surprise? Yes, yes sir. Surprise? Excuse me. Hello, Daddy. Hello. What did you say? I said, hello, Daddy. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Well, do you like me? Oh, who are you? I'm Mrs. Arrow. <laughs> who? Mrs. Arrow. Oh, dear. When did this happen? We were married last night in Atlantic City. Oh, no, no, not married. Oh, there's the ring. You want to see the wedding certificate? <laughs> no, no. Oh, dear. Look, you go on back home and I'll get in touch with you later. But we're going to live here. We are? You mean you... Oh, Look, sit down here. Don't leave this room. You don't mind if we keep this marriage a secret for a little while, do you? Look, sir. Oh, Ed, Ed. 
get me a lawyer, get me an attorney, anybody. Oh, come on, come on. What is it? Oh, I got to get a divorce or a or something. Say, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? I'm a what? Uh, uh, what you call it? A what? Well, what are you when you marry two women at the same time? You're nuts. That's me. I'm nuts. Say, wait a minute. What's this all about? What's it all about? You don't know where I was last night, do you? No. No, but there's a little lady in there who knows. Huh? Yes. She said we were married last night. Uh-oh. Uh, all I need now is find my wife to walk in here. Well, here I am, dear. <clears throat> Hello, Leon. Hello. Did you have to come home right now? Why? Why? Well, well, because you're here, aren't you? That proves the whole thing. Oh, I say, I'd like to meet my... Mr. Errol, this is my wife. No, no, no. I'm the wife. I mean, he's the... Uh, this is Mr. Taylor. He just came in with me, but he's going home now, so you and I can go out. Oh, why are you so excited, dear? 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 That's it. I want to show you the dear. Don't tell me you've got a dear. Did he really? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, where is he? Uh, uh, right out here. Judson has it, honey. Oh, I must see it. Yes, do. Judson. Yes. Oh, what am I going to do now? Get out your checkbook. Check, check, check. Out. How much? It costs you plenty. You better go in and find out. I don't want to see her again. You go in and see her. No, no, no. I'll leave this check open now. No, no. Go on, go in and see her, will you? Tell her you're my attorney. Tell her anything, but get her out of here. Go on. All right, I'll do my best. Yeah, sure. Oh, how do you do? I'm Mr. Taylor, Mr. Harold's attorney. Nice knowing you, Mr. Taylor. Thank you. Now, uh, are you sure that you were married? Well, certainly. Doesn't he believe it? Oh, yes, yes. But you see, Mr. Harold wants to make a settlement. Oh, you mean a wedding present? It, yeah, a wedding present. How much? Well, Mr. Taylor, if you must be so blunt about it, my husband is planning on Mr. Harold giving us enough to build and furnish a house. Your husband? You mean you... Oh, oh. Excuse me a minute. You wait right there. Hey, what it cost me? Five hundred? Five hundred nothing. She's got another husband. What? She thinks you're going to build him a home and furnish it. She's got another husband? Yeah. Why, that's big enough. Big enough. But that's too timing. She can't do that to me. I'm going in there right now and see her. Big pardon, sir. Officer to see you. An officer? Army and Navy. Police, sir. Mm -hmm. Are you Leon Arrow? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I've got a telegram here from a man in Atlantic City. He said that his wife... Yes, I, I know all about his wife. It's, yes, it's all a ghastly mistake, officer. I'm trying to straight the whole thing out right now. Now, please, if you just cooperate... Sure, sure. Let me see. Thanks so much. It says here I'm to meet the lady in... Yes, I'm Mr. Officer. Listen, listen. I'm a married man, and I was married before this thing happened. Oh, if it ever gets up, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, it is as serious as all that. Well, uh, no, you don't know my wife. Well, she ought to be broad-minded about it. But... Huh? You didn't do it maliciously. Uh, did you? Well, no. You didn't cause any actual damage that couldn't be repaired. I don't think so. After all, you're entitled to have a little fun in your own way. Well, thanks. I'm glad you feel that way about it. Sure, sure. Say, you want me to talk to your wife for you? Yeah. No! Oh, Leon! My wife! Oh, wait a minute. Get out of here. Wait a minute. You said you'd cooperate, didn't you? I've got to get back to the station. <laughs> Oh, Leon. Yes? Judson says you have a surprise for me. Uh, oh, he did, eh? But I didn't tell her what it was, sir. So, uh, suppose we let us later, huh? Oh, I intend to, sir. And that's very lovely of you. You don't mind, do you, darling? No, if it's a secret, you can wait. Uh, now, I must find a place to hang your trophy. Yes, where? Now, where? I know. Hmm. In the library. Yes. Could you do? Wait a minute. Uh, I don't think the library's quite the place for it. This will just touch off everything in there. Yeah, yeah. Everything will be touched off if you go in there right now. I always put my trophies in the den. In the den? Of course. Sure, den. Now, why didn't I think of that before? But, Leon, we have no den. Don't let him know we haven't got a den. It'll be all over town. Uh, yes, of course. The den. The den. You know, way upstairs, way in the back. Yes, yes, I see the dead. Now go upstairs and see how nice it will look now. That's your idea. Hmm? Now that I'm here. Aren't you going to get her out of here? She ain't the one. Sure oh, she is. I... Oh, dear. <laughs> I've been here right here, that is. I've got to get back to the station now. I know. Get back to the station. Oh, I never saw you before in all my life. Oh, sure you did. I talked about in Atlantic City. 
My husband sent me for that deer head you took off the wall in the cocktail bar. Deer head? Off the wall? Mm -hmm. He was pretty sore about it, but if you'll give it back, we'll call it square. Say, did your husband wire the police that you were coming? Yes. All right, now where is it? Oh, here you are. My wife. <laughs> I knew I'll get it for you. I don't want my wife to know. Oh, I get it. Sure. Now, listen. The more you want it in here. I still think it'll look better in the library. Come along, Judson. Hey, here it is. Oh, Daddy, I don't know how to thank you. There's no time to thank me. Get out of here before my wife sees you. Do you think she'll object to our marriage? Oh. Separate us, will you? Stop fighting me! Leon! My wife! Who is there? Mm, get right oh, hurry, 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 get around here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Mr. Arrow! Yes. Can we get it now? No. Yes, what? No, get out of here. Leon, who is that woman? Hmm? Who? Who's that? Woman! What woman? You mean the little one over the big time? You mean this one here? This isn't a woman? I... What woman? The woman who just went upstairs. Oh, it's, oh, well, that, uh, that was Mr. Taylor who went upstairs. But there's a woman with him. Uh, yeah, that's it, that thing. Who? Oh, yeah, that, that was the, the Mrs. Taylor. Well, why didn't you tell me she was here? Well, she just came in. Well, I'll go out and meet her. No, 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 no. Uh, sit down a moment. Oh, you call me as soon as she comes down. I'll be in the library. <laughs> and if Mrs. Darrell doesn't like me, I'm not going to stay here. I don't blame you. When are you leaving? As soon as my husband arrives. But your husband can't come here. Well, why not? This is his father's house, isn't it? Well, sure, this is his father's. Hey, wait a minute. Are you married to young Philip Arrow? Well, certainly. Who did you think I was married to? I... I... <laughs> I <don't do> <laughs> I know the station house. Mm -hmm. We can't make it yet. How do you do? I'm Mrs. Taylor. Oh, well, how are you? Fine, mm -hmm. oh, I'm very sorry, but we already have a Mrs. Taylor. <gasps> oh, you, you're Mrs. Taylor. Yes. Is uh, my husband here? No, 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 I don't, I don't think so. Well, he went hunting with you, didn't he? Oh, yes, 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 but he's gone home. And all probability be home before you get there. <laughs> Awfully do you. Next time I meet a Mrs. Taylor, I'll whistle for you. Leon! Huh? Bring the lady in. I was looking for Mr. Taylor. Oh, Mr. Taylor's upstairs with his wife. Oh, is that so? Well, for your information, I am his wife. You're quite a fabricator, aren't you? What does she mean? What does she mean by calling me a fabricator? Perhaps she didn't want to call you a liar, darling. Wait, wait, where are you going? Upstairs to meet Mrs. Taylor. Both of them. Now, get done. How many times have I told you to keep your nose out of other people's affairs? Why don't we care what that guy Taylor does? <laughs> <laughs> Would you please tell me what's so laughable about this? Sit down, honey, and I'll tell you the whole story. This will slay you. <laughs> well, Hunter, is it funny? <laughs> I'll say it is. Oh. Hello, dear. How did you get here? This is my wife. This is Mrs. Errol, darling. Oh, so she's Mrs. Errol now. Yeah. I don't understand. Now, look, dear. Sit down and I'll tell you what we were laughing about. No, thank you. I'll stand while you tell me. And it had better be funny. I hope it is. I'm going to find out what this is all about. Just, just, I can explain everything if you just give me a chance to think. Dad, mother. Why, Phil, what are you doing here? I got three days leave. Arrived last oh. night. I was disappointed to find you out. What do you mean you found me out? Well, you weren't here. It, oh, I thought you meant you knew that I did. Yes, I was out. Yeah. What on earth is that? That's termites. Termites? Upstairs? Yeah. Second floor termites. Stop! Please, stop it! That's Jean. Tell Vivian, don't go up there. Oh, please. Can I get it now? Yes, in that room. Go on, go on, go on. I've got to get out of here. You've got to get out of yes. here. What about me? Go on. Johnson. 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 Oh, Jim. Get out of my way. I'm looking for the butler. But I'm the butler. Well, help me find him. I, oh, you're the... Of course, why? Well, how dare you sit down on my front? Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. Did you call? Call? I've been yelling. Get me a hat and coat and pack my grip and I'll wire you where to send it. Are you leaving in a hop, sir? I'm leaving in a minute and a half if you get a wiggle on. A wiggle, sir? Yeah, a wiggle. Yeah. I got it. 
Clint, get it out of here while they're getting as good. Okay. I'll be right after you. Leon? Uh, uh, yes, Angel? Why, have you tried to keep this marriage from me? Well, I... Didn't I, you know I'd find out sometime? I, oh, so he told you, huh? I only told her that she was... Why? You keep my son out of it. If anybody marries her, I did. Oh! I tell you, she's your son's wife. Quiet! I'm not going to tell you this thing any further. I'm going to explain just exactly what happened. Now, wait a minute. The truth is the truth. I'll tell you. You see, we were out hunting and he fell on his head. So you mustn't pay any attention to anything he said. He got a head injury. Maybe he isn't the only one who's going to have a head injury. Go ahead, Leon. Well, it started at the convention. So you went hunting, eh? I, what, sure, to Convention Mountain. That's where we went to hunt, didn't we? Oh, Dad. Yes? My wife and I want to thank you for the check. That's all, keep the check. Check? Oh, you mean that he was... That's what I've been trying to tell you. Oh, dear, I, I think I'm going to faint. Well, you'd better. Oh, my head, my head, I can't remember. Look out, he's falling. Catch him, Ed. Oh, Johnson, Johnson, some water, quick. Oh, get some air. Oh, the poor dear. Do you know, for a moment, I actually thought he'd been somewhere beside hunting. Oh. Uh... Where? Oh. The water, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> The station house. 